I just want to make a short video to inform you of a really, really great video about a young Jewish boy. I think he's 15 years old and uh, he died and went to heaven or something. I don't quite know all the details about it, but I just uh, finished watching it for the second or third time now. And uh, it's pretty interesting, some of the things that he claims. And uh, this, I think it was from 2015. And he claimed that um, the uh, World War Three and the Messiah was going to be really uh, revealed in just a matter of months. And he claims that Obama's Gog from the Ezekiel 38 war or Ezekiel 37, I can't remember. Um, but it's really, really neat. It's hard to follow. I gotta be honest with you. It's really hard to follow because you, unless you speak Hebrew or understand Hebrew, you have to basically read the subtitles all along. But I would strongly recommend this for you if, if you're willing to sit through this or check it out. I think it was around the 37 minute mark uh, where he talks about. Um, the Ezekiel War, or Gog, or World War Three, or Obama, or something like that. Um, but if you can sit through it, it's almost two hours long. Uh, I had heard it from another source, and uh, actually just Googled it to try to find it. And I'll uh, I'll share the link in the description below to try to make it easy for you. And um, I mean, share your comments. I'm sure there'll be people that strongly disagree with it but it's really cool hearing this young guy from 72 hours after this this um, out-of-body experience or this uh, death experience of uh, some of the uh, man anyway I uh, I find some of that stuff really interesting I, I don't know if I'm supposed to biblically entertain some of that stuff or not but uh just he's young and innocent you could tell just he's impetuous like a typical 15 year old uh he starts fooling around with the the podium there at one point and the rabbi like pushes his hands out of the way and he keeps trying to grab the microphone from the rabbi the people are just like it's just chaos at a few points which kind of makes it feel even more legitimate and uh, just raw and uh how how uh, we would be if three or four or 20 of us were gathered around somebody that had just had a similar experience. And uh, enough rambling, I'm just going to share the link below. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I really, I really think you should check it out. And uh, if you think it's complete garbage, then I'm sorry. Um, I think it's really interesting and uh, encouraging, especially some of the things that just as a young boy, he had... Uh, no idea about and the rabbi actually quotes from the old testament um word for word it was really cool i was reading in uh, ezekiel 39 or 40 somewhere in in ezekiel um about them uh, burying the bodies of all the foreigners in israel after the war or something um he talks about the IDF being uh, wiped out in two days so that they had no defense left. Uh, he talks about armies moving in to try to, everybody's trying to take Jerusalem. And he made mention of Syria. This is from 2015, I think. And uh, that uh, America was there and that Russia was there and that they were right on the borders. Well, as of now, just as of the last couple of weeks, Russia is now patrolling the, uh, the, uh, the Golan. Uh, because uh, ISIS were sitting right along the border and Syria was trying to to get rid of ISIS and ISIS was uh, firing into Israel uh, which was prov uh, provoking Israel to respond and basically hit the Syrian uh, Syrian army and anyway thanks for watching uh, check back hopefully uh, sometime over the next couple days um, I'll get another video out. Uh, October 8th is coming, Monday night, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll see a spectacular meteor shower, or maybe we'll have a spectacular fail. <laughs>
and uh, it's not going to change our hope and it's not going to change that uh, we believe the times are short at all. It's uh, just something exciting to watch for that uh, maybe this draconid uh, meteor shower will cover a third of the sky and fulfill the prophecy from Revelation um, 12, 3 and 4, right? Um, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching and check back in the next day or two and hopefully I'll have something else uh, posted that everybody loves. Thanks for subscribing and liking our videos and the comments are fun too. See ya.